Hello everybody, and welcome back to, well welcome I should say, to Hitman, the original. Uh, the first and best, at least in the the main sort of trilogy of Hitman games. Uh, my name is Dizzy, uh, and I will admit that I have played this game before. Often when I play something on stream, it, it's sort of for the first time. Uh, but no, I, I've played this game a bit. I've got about halfway through it, perhaps. I never finished it. This is a recurring theme for me. Uh, I just realised I can't see my chat in OBS, so you're going to have to bear with me for a sec. Do, 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 chat. Welcome, chat. There we go. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I, I, it's sort of a, a, a no-brainer. I know I love this game. Uh, I can't remember why I did stop playing it in the end, but I did. Uh, but it seems to be sort of moderately popular again with the third one in the franchise releasing new like game modes and stuff. So I thought, what better time to jump in than right now? Uh, for those of you who don't know the Hitman franchise, it's a third-person stealth-ish game. Uh, let's hit to campaign. Campaign season one. I say stealth-ish because most of the time you're not stealth-stealthing, you're like camouflaging and disguising rather than hiding behind things, although there is plenty of hiding behind things as well. Uh, and as the game, as the name sort of suggests, the Boomer says it's a stealth game if you're good at it. That's true. All the challenges are like, don't use any disguises. Uh, so I'm just going to sort of start at the beginning and hope it will take me through to the first mission naturally. Boom says, I am not. No, I am not either. And this is going to be a total disaster as I play it. And you will see that. But that's fine. That's all part of the the streaming experience. So there we are. There's us. 47. Notable for our bald head, striking facial features, and... Barcode. I don't know why we have a barcode. I think it gets explored at some point. But we have a barcode. Welcome to the agent program initiate. I'll be waiting for you inside. Yep. The lights, please. So here we are in a uh, somewhere in the Alps, probably. Uh, a secret hidden base for the training of assassins. So he can be easily checked out. <laughs> You'd think having unique identifier would be exactly what you don't want as an assassin, but there we go. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Partly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. <laughs> Tell me, what did it feel like taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one. Boom says game audio could go up a tad. Sure, that's a thing we can achieve. Boop -ba -dee -doo. I should leave you to prepare. How's that? Any better? Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive. No doubt the boy shows promise, but perhaps I see possibility where others see limitations. He's very clearly like a full-grown man. <laughs> we'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing. If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. So yes, yeah, so although it's it's 
sort of only hinted at here. My understanding is that 47 is a bit of a blank sp- slate in like a, a memory loss situation. He doesn't know really who he is or why he's good at assassinating. This operation originally took place in Sydney. I'm assuming that will be explored throughout the series. Infamous cat burglar, also known as the Sparrow. You will need to infiltrate the yacht, isolate and eliminate your target and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember, as an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. But blunt force will get you nowhere in this business. And a true assassin never calls attention to himself. Good luck, initiate. Okie dokie. So this is a, a training mission. It's a bit of an interesting training mission because... As previous tests oh, have established, on. you exhibit an unusual level of enhanced sensory perception. Use your instinct now to sense the position and movement of people around you and identify your target. Cool. What's that? Caps lock. Okay, fantastic. There we go. So there's my person. Um, yeah, so so I think that gets explored, like 47's backstory, as we go through uh, the mission. But here's training. Training is interesting because it sort of definitely looks like we're really actually killing people. But I believe canonically we're not. Somehow. Bip. Hmm. That mechanic is in your way. Sneak up and subdue him quietly. Uh, and this is the bit where we sort of canonically quite discuss, uh, quite surprise, uh, old Diana. By doing the thing, which is the main mechanic of the game, really, which is <laughs> stealing his clothes. clothes. That's a first. I love that. It might just work though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad, initiate. And then we hide him in the uh, the closet. Right. Find him anytime soon. I think somewhere around here there is like the disguise that the people who set up the thing we're expecting we'd use. I can't remember where it is. Oh, it's over here, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. That that's what they expected us to wear. Oh, I've not got chat open. I can't see what all of your beautiful beautiful mouths are saying. Doopity doo. Game auto saves during gameplay. You can manually save a mode from the menu. Can I not quick save? Is that not a. Well, that's useless. Keep ironing this. Do, 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 do. No, okay, I guess there isn't a quick save button. That's fine. We can do manual saves as and when we need to. This particular uniform. Yeah, shut up, Diana. We should get you access through the staff entrance. Just act normal. Yep, acting normal. Hello. Hi there. Now this Hold guy. On. That mechanic with his back turned. Oh, there we go. He's She's going to explain to us. He knows his crew, and he'll see right through your disguise. So stay out of his line of sight. That shouldn't be too difficult. You're in. Well done, Initiate. Right, now for the tricky part. Start by locating your target. Intel suggests he's around the bar area. Boop, there's a target. Just grab all the things, basically. Uh, is your target, Mr. Ritter. All right, Diana. Fortunately, the place is crawling with witnesses. Where are you going? you follow him. See if you can't isolate him. Yeah, 
officer, and then this guy will tell us, I think, that we can't go up there. Not to be expected. It is private deck is off limits for mechanics. If assimilation is the name of your game, you'll need a better disguise. Oop. Oh, it wants us to throw the wrench. Hold that to aim. Bonk. Ow. Well, that's gonna leave a mark. Good thing we have insurance. <laughs> Good thing we have insurance, okay. he says. Unlike mechanics, the cabin crew uh. is allowed upstairs access. I see what you're getting at. Very unorthodox. I like it. Just dump him in the freezer, that's fine. No one seems to care about piles of clothes lying around, that's fine. Boomer says, have you tried this texting thing? Uh, 19... Well, I think it at the moment it's 1999. So either the mission is set in 1999, or that's somebody actually just making like generic conversation that someone would actually make in 1999. One of the two. I'm not sure which. Alright. Yacht crew is clear. <laughs> the that... target's private deck. Uh-huh. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, but according to Intel, Ritter is another enforcer who picks his own cabin crew. So tread carefully. So he's over there at the moment, and I believe that normally the best place to go is upstairs to have a little sort of look-see from above. And you can see there's a, a heli chopper here, which in a normal mission would be like an exit point, but then this one might not be. Right, I need a crowbar if I want to break that. And I think if I break that, that'll like roll down on him. So we need to find one. Oh look, a crowbar! How convenient! Uh, quite a lot of the gameplay in this, honestly, is like finding whatever the thing is that you need. Ah. Uh, uh... Him away out of sight. That little box there is a moderately important thing because if you ever leave weapons lying around, they'll get taken to boxes like that. <laughs> Self imposed fetch quests. Do, 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 do. G. Oh. You have been compromised. Quickly, try and lose them and change your disguise. Okay, someone has, has seen me doing that. Oh, it's his, his little bodyguard. Oh, and he wasn't even in the right place. ICA clients rely on our discretion and do not expect collateral damage. Uh... Whoopsies! Okay, so that didn't go super duper well. He wasn't stood in quite the right place. That's fine. That's fine. And by fine, I mean not at all fine. So those people are all looking for me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh well, this has gone badly, if I'm honest. Oh, hello. Sorry. Okay, I'll go in the other one. Right, it's fine because what we can do is... What the hell button is it for the inventory? There's slightly too many buttons in this game, is part of the problem. It says, at least there can't be many places to look down while it's basically a film set. What the hell button is the inventory? Options. Mouse and keyboard. Key bindings. Inventory is T. Why the hell is it on T? Uh. Oops, sure. Hammer. Uh. Command. 
Saying something's off here in my sector. Stand by while I investigate. Uh oh, someone opened the door. Oh my god, this person's standing in the way of the door. <laughs> it's fine, they saw nothing. I think that was his bodyguard. Oops, where's... Where's the target right now? Oopsies. Boom says, I think I just realized why I've never seen anyone play this with keyboard controls. Well, I didn't have a... Someone can see me and I don't know who it is. Uh, yeah, I didn't have a, a computer controller back when I first... Okay, you're an enforcer. That's not good. I also didn't pick up my... Uh... I didn't pick up my hammer. Do -do -do. Where the hell is the stairs? Oh! That, you're an enforcer, that's no good. How? Okay, I, I desperately need to know all of the controls, because I'm obviously way too rusty. Right, uh, how do I holster, for one thing? Holster, mouse three. That middle mouse button. Okay, well, sure. That's a questionable key binding. Right, you're over here. Oh look, there's someone who I probably killed before when I didn't mean to. Hmm. Yeah, this is so the tutorial's gone pretty wrong. Uh Honestly. I could just... Ow, ow, ow! Ow! Sprint, please! Sprint, please! Ow, 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 ow! Ow, ow! Oh. Ow. Yeah, so that didn't go well. Uh, I don't know really what I was sort of supposed to do there. Uh, I think I sort of messed it up by... I think I messed it up by, uh... Welcome oh, yeah, 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 whatever. Mission training. This operation originally took place in Sydney. The target was Calvin Ritter. Infamous cat burglar, also known You skipped the, the two the text! Shut up! The Shut up, woman! <laughs> and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember, as an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. Okay, so I'm very rusty, as it turns you know out. Business, and a true assassin never Will you shut up, lady? Good luck, initiate. Dan, I love you, but you've got to stop talking. That you need to give me a button for stop talking. As previous tests have established, you exhibit an unusual level. Hmm, that mechanic is in your way. Sneak up and subdue him quietly. But okay. You put on his clothes. <laughs> That's a first. Might just work though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad initiate. They won't find him anytime soon. Uh, is there anything out here actually that is... No, there's nothing out here that is, uh, like, useful. That's a shame. Oh, okay. I can manually save from the menu. Sure. Should probably this have done this sooner. should get you access through the staff entrance. Just... Act normal. Hold Understood. on. That mechanic with his back turned? He's what we call an enforcer. Yeah, I don't care. He knows his crew and he'll see right through your disguise. So stay out of his line of sight. You're in. Well done, initiate. 
Right, now for the tricky part. Start by locating your target. Intel suggests he's around the bar area. Right, here is my target. Sadly, there's no way to like blend in. Nearby. Okie dokie. Right. right. He's gonna go up there, he's gonna go up the stairs. That is your target, Mr. Ritter. Unfortunately, the place is crawling with witnesses. I suggest you follow him, see if you can't isolate him. Hmm, to be expected. Ritter's private deck is off limits for mechanics. If assimilation is the name of your game, you'll need a better disguise. <laughs> well, that's gonna leave a mark. Uh, Good thing we right, have insurance. I want to pick up. I want to drag. Boop. And then from here I can disguise. Okay. Unlike mechanics, the cabin crew is allowed upstairs access. I see what you're getting at. Very unorthodox. I like it. The target's private deck. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, but according to Intel, Ritter is another enforcer who picks his own cabin crew. So tread carefully. Yeah, so. Do, do, do. We need to get close to him. So this is where I, I messed up last time and I tried to sort of skip ahead a little bit. We need to get close to him and have the tutorial stuff do its thing without necessarily, like. So Killing him yet? Yeah. What does it say? What do you do? Excuse me. Where is his bodyguard? His bodyguard's over there. Gotcha. Oh, what? Oh, will they be serving drinks on board? The target will spot you if you get too close. To eavesdrop on his conversation, try and find a way to blend in. Ah, okay, right. I've got to go over here and do the blend in interaction. Gotcha. Are you all ready? Buddy, making us look bad. You chew your food, why don't you? Blending in, I see. Well done, initiate. Mr. Norfolk. Yeah, hilariously, if I just stand behind the bar and clo cross my arms, he no longer can tell that I'm not who I'm supposed to be. Not before six. <laughs> is very insistent about that rule. Okie doke. My sympathies. So, excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please. Uh, lead the way. Nice impression. If we win, you can fix me a drink. Anyway, <laughs> sounds like Ritter is about to have a private meeting with the gentleman in white. This could be useful. Hmm. Clearly, Ritter doesn't want to okay, be disturbed. Captain. Try sneaking round the back. Doop -de -doo. Oh. Okay, around the other back. So you got the blueprints. Most impressive. People get it. Mr. Norfolk, you pay for the best. Here, I'll pull the files out. Not my usual scene, Mr. Thompson. Some of my clients are hard to collect their shit. So what is this you're saying stuff? Okay. Reactor. He's saying stuff. Hold on. Okay, I'm waiting. This would normally not be a bad time to, like, wrench him and then grab the other guy. But, uh... We're gonna hold on, I guess. It would be nice if the subtitles... Use your silent pistol or the client... Notice. Target is down. Now head calmly towards an exit. Bonk. Just wallop him. How is that crime noticed? Oh well. You have been oh. compromised. Where did you come from? Change your disguise. Oh, 
Christ, what are you doing? That's on top. Stop right there. Hands in the air, nice yeah, that's and slow. Right, on yep. your knees now, right, huh? That's what he's crazy. What the hell? Oh, why is there so many of you? Ow, 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 ow. I don't know what happened and it's all gone wrong. Ow. Ow. I can't jump over that for some reason. Ow. Ow. Well, I'm, I've, I've died. I'm not really quite sure why that happened. I don't know why the guy was coming into the room. Uh, but that's fine. That's fine. It's not fine. God, I'm really struggling. I never used to struggle this bad. Maybe I should plug in my controller, if nothing else. Um, why the hell is my cable for it? Ow. Hello? Okay. Right, now, the, the downside is, I don't know any of the controls for controller. Okay. So, for example, I don't know how to sprint. Okay, that's sprint. The target will spot you if you get too close. To eavesdrop on his conversation, try and find a way to blend in. Boop. Blending in, I see. Well done, initiate. So good of you to fly down. Okay. Can I offer you a drink? Oh, no thank you. Oh, if I press plus, it'll give me an overview of what the controls are. Okay, instinct is on that. Interact is on Y. Uh, most things are on what it thinks is B, but I think is A, so I might have to figure that one out. Uh, X is melee or use item, for sure, for sure. Right trigger is shoot throw. Uh, inventory is on the D-pad, okay. No, uh, not before six. My wife is... Oh, right, maybe I can't use my inventory while I'm blending. That's fine. My sympathies. So, excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please. Lead the way. Nice impression. If we win, you can fix me a drink. Okie anyway, dokie. Sounds like Ritter is about to have a private meeting with the gentleman in white. This could be useful. Jeez. Welcome. Okay, so these guys are going to go through here. And then. Hmm. Clearly, oh, Ritter doesn't true. want to be disturbed. Oh, Try sneaking around the back. Wait, I had the run button a minute ago, and I've lost it. Oh, it's that one. How do I take cover? Okay. Like that. Boop. play the waiting game. Okay, waiting game again. Let's see if we can maybe save. So that when I inevitably mess this up somehow, it isn't so much of a problem. Do 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 do. Now is your chance. Use your silent pistol or the client will notice. Uh, how do I holster on this? I've just realised I don't know how to do that. That's... okay, holster is up. Now head calmly towards an exit. The red car marks your exfiltration point. Simply push the button and you're in the clear. Doobity-doop. Alright, I have to get off. Where's the way off? Here's the proper way off. I can just wander off. Okay, well... That could have gone a lot better. 
honestly. But we did eventually make it. <laughs> okay, so that was a total disaster. And may I say, elegantly done. Elegantly done? That was the least elegant thing you've ever seen, Diana. <laughs> now, what I'm not super sure about is the aiming with the controller, because I hate aiming with the controller. Always. How did you know? I told you he had talent. His stats are off the charts. Such skills and reflexes. Such bad skills and poor reflexes. Previous training. We didn't make our charts go that low. No more <laughs> he could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one. Oh, Bimbo says I had a connection issues. Sounds like Perhaps it didn't leave under a hail of gunfire. We didn't. Give me a chance, Which is nice. We did it actually properly this time. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. Well, I mean, welcome back, Initiate. That was only the As training mission. The agent, every challenge you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Okay, Complete right. Complete this exercise again. This time, attacking it from a different angle. Okay, okay. Vary your strategy. Improvise. We will be watching. Freeform training. Before the final test, you allow more time to practice the retro operation. You're free to choose your approach. You can use the challenges to guide you. We encourage you to complete as many challenges as possible. Yeah, so this is this is the other main shtick with the Hitman franchise, is you're encouraged to sort of do the missions over and over again and do them in lots of different ways. And the challenges and options and stuff they provide will guide you for that. Right, so one of my options is to disguise myself as Norfolk. I could also try and poison the target. Something out of place. Oh, okay, that boring. Assassinate the target in a life raft incident accident. So that's what I was trying to do. I've never yet succeeded. Uh, oops, that's not the right button to pick stuff up. Now, coins are going to be useful. Coins are distraction tools. There's also a variety of guns, which are, for the most part, a bit of a trap, I think, a lot of the time. Certainly before you've got any, like, appropriate disguise. Now, the target is currently over there. Okey-doke. Ah, okay, so Norfolk is here. This is why I've never completed this challenge, I guess, because how the hell do you get him to somewhere where no one's going to see you pulverize him? The answer is you probably don't. But we've got our... I can't remember how you crouch, there we go. We've got our guy. Uh, we can drag. Same as before. What's the disguise button? Hey, fantastic. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if we just sort of stand near Norfolk for a while. If we'll hear anything or if we'll trigger him to, to do something. Doesn't look like it, does it? No, okay. There's also this little sort of dock at the back. Can we get to it? Answer? Yes. Can we open it? Yes, because we've got a lockpick. You can pick up a crowbar from here. Fantastic.
There's also a speedboat as a secondary exfiltration point. Okie doke. There's a generator which we can tamper with to cause a distraction. If we want to. Okay. Now from here, can the people on the upper deck see us? Answer, maybe. Uh, select. Can I ping that over there? Okay. I think I heard something. Might be a false alarm, but uh, I'll check it out just in case. Up. Uh, how do I dragon the? Yeah, having the the concern about the controls in the heat of the moment is going to be a real pain. <laughs> but who says I yeet him over the rail? Well, we can try maybe. All right, so I've got him there. In case I need a, a that kind of guy disguise. He's one of the classes of disguise that is a military disguise, which are normally the most useful. Weapon crates. Weapons are found lying around the guard place in the box like this. There we go. Oh, I guess he is who I'm supposed to do the uh, the weapon thinging challenge with, isn't it? Right, so we've got this guy is on a patrol. Norfolk is still outside, isn't he? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, and once we get here, he comes upstairs, I see. Now what's the... Okay, we can't see what the challenges are from this point. Right. And I know that in this disguise I can't get upstairs upstairs, but I probably can in the security guy disguise. So, let's go back and grab that. Right, so that... will mean a bunch of good things for us. First it'll mean that we can bring a, like a sizable, noticeable weapon with us if we want to. That guy over there's an enforcer. It's okay because we don't need him. Glad to see the security detail here. Right. Now on this level. Okay. No one up here is an enforcer. You are down there. Okay. Now what we really need is to get you away from the edges where people will see you. And by association will see me if I clobber you. So like where you're standing right now. spot. Drag you in here where you won't be seen. We now have a gun. We do also have our silenced gun if we want it.
Hmm. There's... So he's two floors down at the moment, Norfolk. He's down here, is he? I lost him. This silly hat. He's over there, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't hurt. The bartender told me to find you. Okay, he wants a butt. Of course. Right this way, Mr. Uh oh. Hey, See you around, man. Is he gonna yeah, he's gonna come through this. Okay. So that guy then takes him up the stairs, but there might have been an opportunity there to, uh, use like an emetic on him or something. <sighs> A big part of the game is finding stuff around, stuff like poison vials and things like that. Which I'm not very good at. Yeah, why don't you go ahead, mister? Okay, right, we can't unlock the door. So we have to find the other way down. Oh, he's come back, right. Boomer says kitchens normally have emetic poison. They do, but I don't think this one does. I also can't remember how we got in. <laughs> I might need to go and change back into the other disguise to get in. Oh, there's somebody else in this corridor. Who are you? Yeah, man. You look tough. Respect. Dead. Uh, where did I put that other disguise? That's right, so here. There we go. Okay, so as the mechanic, I can. Whoops. As the mechanic, I can get into the. Uh, kitchen. There's not many enforcers for the mechanic disguise. Now I can be Yacht Crew. No one out there now enforces me. Oh, look, there's another door that I could have just used. That's fine. Yeah, see, there's the wine that I could have poisoned if I had poison. But I haven't found any poison. Target is currently doing sort of interesting lap. Good to see you. Oh, that is the target guy currently. It's going out front. Okay, that's fine. What have we got? A bust. Don't really need the bust. Got anything in here? Yeah, someone was looking at me just then. Not sure who, but someone. Oh, 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, well, the good news is he's come in here of his own accord. Wait, is it glass cutter? No, it's something work related. Well, I didn't really do that any differently to how I did that last time, to be honest. Uh. So that was mostly by accident. Okay, so who is it who keeps seeing into this bloody room? Is it you guys? Okay, fine. Sure, whatever. I guess because that door stays open a lot. There's Norfolk. Okay, so we could have, we could have tried to disguise ourselves as Norfolk. That was sort of really what I was hoping for, but I couldn't find any way to like nobble him. Uh, across here, exfiltrate via speedboat, end mission. Once again, great work initiative. This exercise is available for as long as you need. When you are ready to advance, you have only to let us know. Now, when we're in the proper mission, there'll be a lot more options. So stuff like finding the poisons, etc. will actually be, like, possible. I have genuinely... Oops, I don't know what I pushed. Welcome back. Uh... Initiate. No? I see you. No, I want to leave. I don't really want to quit game. Is that quitting the game game or just quitting the mission? That's quitting the game game. Okay, fantastic work. Good job, game. Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks for giving me that option. Ay vey. I'm not on the top of my game today. <laughs> Why is there no quit mission button? <laughs> Who designed this game? Um uh, all right. You all seeing game footage? Yes, okay, fantastic. Oi vey. Oh yeah, I forgot that Hitman has always online like play. Which is really awful. That's also terrible. Games absolutely should not do that. Especially not a single player game, you know? Alright, campaign. Uh, the final test. Right, now we've learnt theoretically how to do assassinations. The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission. The high point of training director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. The Soviets Soda's really did pick Knight wacky spies. In Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This will be your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, but he even added additional guards. Sodas wants you to fail. Mm. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program won't raise any eyebrows. Well, if he thinks we're bowing out, he is sorely mistaken. Good luck, Initiate. Yes, so... Uh, we've already sort of started our our drama with Sodas. My understanding is that's going to become more significant as, like, the series goes on. Straight away, we're dropped into... Oh, eavesdropping. Hello. Who does it want us to eavesdrop on?
Okay, so press what the button is that? So, Jasper Knight is okay. leaving Cuba <laughs> on a Soviet fighter jet, but first he needs to test the jet's safety features. Huh. Say you could somehow tamper with the ejector seat mechanism. You could presumably get Knight to trigger his own demise. Hmm. That might just work. So the opportunities in this game are great. They give you lots of ways to like slightly humorously um what's the word I'm looking for? Slightly humorously either get access to targets or, or kill targets in interesting and often ironic ways. Uh I tell you what, I'd love to track this one. Uh no wait, where's the final terms? Yeah. Disguise yourself as the KGB officer. Right. I'm sorry, I can't let you through here. Now please turn around and leave. Even getting in through the door is going to be a bit tricky. Have we been provided with anything? Like, uh. Materials, equipment? No. Okay, so. Can we scale the fence over here? Yes, theoretically. There's our way in. We are now trespassing, which means that literally everyone who sees us knows that we're not supposed to be here dressed like this. Which is bad. Obviously. Okay, so now that that's turned around, come up here. Oh, hi, Fion. Welcome, Fion, in chat. Fion says, kill a person and take their clothes. Murder. We're trying to avoid non-target murder, but definitely the stealing of clothes is something we can achieve. Okay, so... Right. We've got a new disguise. Most people, at least around here, no longer enforce this. That's good. It says no dreams, only sleep. Okay, that guy on the front door does enforce this. So, who's inside? Those two are inside. And there's a way upstairs. We might be able to. Oh, the door's locked. Of course, the door is locked. Do I have anything that I can. No, okay, I don't have a lockpick. That's fine. We'll go in through the sideway. The autosave has just reminded me I should drop a manual save. Okie doke. Right, so we are in like a security guy uniform, but these guys are in a different military uniform. So they may have different actions. But for now, we're allowed to just wander around here. Hi there. Keep all troublemakers out of here, huh? Understood. Okay, there's a few guys in here, and then there's the plane. That's the opportunity. I think that's the only opportunity I've done before in this mission is the plane one because it's quite funny. Are there any enforcers in here? No. There are, however, plenty of witnesses. So I can't just, for example, novel this guy. As amusing as that would be. We can, however, grab a bunch of equipment. Grab a wrench, lead pipe. Right, there's a guy through there enforces me, but there's a wall between us, so he can't theoretically see me for most of the time when I'm in here. And he says, as a NAF hitman, I simply drowned him in his own bomb. But that's definitely an option. I think I may have done something like that before. Uh, 
Right, that's not sprint, this is sprint. This is important. This is the safety protocol. Uh, Jasper Knight is required to do a safety check before takeoff. The protocol is performed by certified airplane mechanics, includes a test of the onboard injector seat. Okay, okay. so for the other opportunity that I'm tracking. What do I have to do? I have to disguise myself as the KGB officer. Who is the KGB officer? <laughs> Exactly. Alright, let's have a have a wander around this side, see if there's anything here. Okay, there's not very much around here. Security looking hella tight today, keeping it real, what? Through the window. One of those is an enforcer. <laughs> but we could... Maybe... Ah, if we mess with the generator, we can lure someone in here. Let me hide... Problem. Dip. Turn those on so no one else comes to investigate. Right, now in this disguise, those guys inside no longer enforce us. Let's also grab the rifle. At least for now, okay. These guys outside do enforce us. But once we're inside, this should be fine to get us up to the next level, hopefully. We should have a look around the stairs that we're planning to go up first. Okay, no enforcers immediately nearby. There is a way to check the map. I'm not sure what it is. There we go. Map. Uh, nope. Trigger. Ah, but it doesn't show us where people are on the map. Key deck. Hello. Eddie, hey, soldier. Are these indeed? Okay, so there's a guy out here who enforces us. Can't currently see us. Eddie's recruit. What have we got here? A brick. I'll hold on to that just in case. Okay, then what's through here? We've got a place to hide stuff, which is useful. One soldier only. Well, that guy wanders over there. He's unlikely to see me from here, really. Oh, you're the KGB officer, aren't you? Okay. Have you just left Jasper Knight in there? No, there's one guy in there with him. Okay. Am I allowed in here? Yes, I am. Fantastic. Private? Oh, I can tamper with the chess game. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I can also... This is where the vodka stuff happens, right? Good to know. Then, oh, he, Jasper Knight, has left. Uh-oh. I did not mean to do that. 
I did not mean to do that. I was hoping to nobble him on the way out. Uh, let's grab a coin. I don't know where I picked those up from. Grab the lead pipe. Uh oh, is he coming in? Oh no, Jasper Knight's coming back in. That's a disaster. Okay, but in theory we can use that to take out this guard, and then we can just like pop him in the back of the head if we want to. Uh, or we can try and find out. No, I think my, uh, I think this guy has picked up my brick and my coin, which is very sad. But yeah, ideally we want to find out where that KGB officer has gone. He's over there. Oh! My brick! Thank you. I'm surprised the officer doesn't know who we are, to be honest. Right, so he comes and stands in here. Goes outside. Place overhead slides. Okay, that's an option that we don't know what it is yet. Oh, this looks like poison. Emetic rat poison. Fantastic. Okay, so out here, the KGB officer comes and stands out here with basically like no one else. So, can anyone in there see him? Sometimes when they walk past there. If we're quick, we pop him in. Fantastic. He's no longer an issue. We've got his gun. Right. Next time, when the KGB officer comes out, we can disguise ourselves as him. Uh, let's grab the old pipe again. Fantastic. Where is the KGB officer currently? Hmm, I actually don't know. We could have a little explorer of upstairs though, while we're waiting. Up here, there's no enforcers. Actually, there's not many enforcers in this level at all, really. There's something here we can grab. It's a crowbar. Uh, anything else of interest? No. Got this walkway. Through across. Oh, there's that guy down there who will enforce us and will be able to see us while we cross the walkway. So let's not go back that way. Uh, this looks like another lead pipe. Yeah, okay. Another brick. There's a guy down there who will enforce us, but we don't need to go near him. Alright. Okay, 
head back down the stairs. Where is old KGB boy? Right now. Where, where actually is he? Sir? Where did you go? <laughs> oh, he's down... S no, those are security guys. Where did he go? I don't think he'll be on my map, but he might be because I'm tracking him. Uh... No, okay. Hmm. See, Jasper Knight comes out. And it's there's like almost an opportunity in here while well, that guard's back is turned and that guy isn't out yet. There's almost a chance. Oh, there's the KGB officer. Hi there, sir. Why do you not enforce this uniform? I can talk to him! You, bring me those projection slides from the reception, and be quick about it. Understood, sir. From the reception, you say? Where the hell is the reception? Now, by talking to him, I may have, like, changed his stuff that he does, which might not be good. But I'm curious to see where this leads. So... Where the hell is the reception? I suppose it'll be at the front, right? Where am I? Where's the front? Here's the front. Okay, I'm theoretically looking towards the reception, I think. Hi, are you... Yeah, I snuck a peek, so shoot me. They might just do that. Those are military secrets. Uh, a bunch of projector slides, travel route or something. Pretty dull, really. Well, there's a soldier coming by to fetch him, so stay clear, okay? That's me. You're, you're literally... I'm literally that soldier. Okay, the so... The slides depicting Knight's escape route from Cuba to his new home in the Soviet Union are ready for pickup at the reception. Desk security expect a soldier to fetch the slides, whereupon the KGB officer and Knight will likely retreat to the upstairs office. Ah, well, we don't want the we don't want to do that. We don't want them to retreat together. I want just one of them, and I want to do this KGB disguise route if I can. So, Eddie, soldier. Uh oh, have I missed my chance? Has the KGB officer gone outside and come back? I think he has. That's super annoying. Although, if he comes in here on his own... Quickly, quickly, quickly! Before Jasper Knight comes back. Bonk. Right, okay. That was good work. Grab the crowbar, grab, grab his gun. Put that away. Is my kind around here? No, it's not. That's fine. Okay, so. Disguise myself as the KGB officer. Challenge completed. You are the colonel now. Fantastic. What's this opportunity? A call will come through in the restricted but otherwise unguarded radio room. Talk to Jasper Knight, it says. Okay. Knight, follow me. Lubyanka's on the line. 
My superior wants to speak to you personally. Uh, uh about time. Lead the way. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. That's not good. Well, it's a it's an unguarded room. Is it upstairs or downstairs? It's probably downstairs. Man on the radio. Is it a uh... Where are you taking me? Oh, you are You're actually ready. Okay, so the radio room is not that way. Let's go and find the radio room. <laughs> uh Right, I'm now a KGB officer. It seems like no one enforces this disguise, and I have basically unlimited access. Where the hell is the radio? Is it this? Okay, don't have the key. But no one is currently looking. Ah, Boomer says it'll be the room with the thumping bass. <laughs> or bass, possibly. Ah! Much. You're Come under in. arrest. Put those hands up. Yeah, that's right. Sudden moves. On your knees now, right? Huh? That's what you get when you put Why are there always three of them? Ow, I'd like to use my gun, please. That's not my gun. That's a gun, but that's not my gun. Oh my god. Well, that went disastrously. No one was looking at me. I didn't even know what happened. Uh, oh my god, I didn't save for ages. Oh, I should have done my autosave. Hang on. Nope. Load. God's sake, load. Autosave. Okay. Let's try this one again. Uh, Come back when you're actually ready. I was super duper not expecting that... Uh, a, that that door would be locked, and B, that anyone was looking at the time. I don't even know who was looking at me at the time. Is this the radio room? Yes. Oh, for God's sake, this door was just open. Oh, for crap. And then from the inside, I can open this door. Of course I bloody can. Alright, let's have a look around in here first. No one can really see what goes on in this room, so one, once that guy's gone past... Uh, I'm gonna try and... See if I can, like, get his attention. Need the crowbar, quick, quick, quickly. Let's close the door. Drag him over here, put him out of the way. In the cupboard you go. Right, so now he won't see or hear me when I pop Jasper Knight in this room. Bianca's on the line. Comrade, My superior wants to speak to you personally. Uh, about time. Come on. Come on. I know where I'm going now, you see. How does he not recognize that I'm not the KGB officer he's been seeing around? Huh? Lieutenant Colonel. Colonel. All power to the Soviets. Yeah, so opportunities. This should keep night occupied for a while. Uh, uh, opportunities are good for, like, um, getting you alone with the target sometimes, even if they don't give you an exact kill opportunity. Thank you. I'll take it from here. Right, uh, let's grab my silenced pistol. Target down. You did it. Now head Oops. towards an exit. Grab the body. Oh my god, there's someone outside the room who I didn't even realise was there. Luckily he didn't see or hear anything. 
Oh boy. Oh, that was uh, his private guard, wasn't it? There we go. Right. Okay. Go outside. That's the stairs up. I want the stairs down. Where are the stairs down? There are no stairs down out here. Of course not. <laughs> that would be too easy. Hang on, there's stairs down in here, I know. I'm just trying not to go to any too many like new areas in case there might be people who recognize me. Luckily, it doesn't seem like they do. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Congratulations, Fantastic. We did the mission, the eventually. We only messed up training, like, three times, and then the final test, like, once. <laughs> I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight. Oh, he's very unhappy with her for doing her job. <laughs> so what happens now? You go back into the world, disappear, stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does. He played his hand, and he lost. He cannot touch us now. What? Like never say he cannot touch us game. now. And That's never a good thing to say in a video game. Quite right. <laughs> Boomer says you'll be taking people out with cupcakes in no time. We can only hope. Also, sorry for punching the microphone. Found no records of any kind. No name. Nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. <laughs> so make it one. Agent. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And then we have a montage of all of his previous career in like the other games that I've not played. Doing assassiny things. Sniping, poisoning. God, that's a quick. That's a quick poison. <laughs> Boom Boom says every now named Emmy. You're not wrong, you know? And we drowned that guy, probably. Are we gonna drown this guy? Yeah, we're drowning this guy. Not a very sneaky, subtle way of assassinating someone. But anyway, of assassinating someone. You were always the best. Nobody ever came close. You defined the art, and it defines you. Your actions have changed the world. Boop. Now, given that we can't see through the glass... <laughs> How did 47 see through the glass? By your hand, but by the same token, others have risen. Do you realize what kind of world you've been shaping? Does the ICA? Does your handler? Business class to Paris. I live in that world. I have seen the consequences. I have felt the cost. That's what defines me. Oh, and I assume that's the villain. Or or a villain. So that's exciting. Uh let's jump in with the first proper mission then. Uh, the showstopper going to Paris. Now I've uh, unlocked potentially lots of different sort of things that I can do in Paris because I played through the mission quite a lot and completed it in a variety of different ways. Uh, I figure I'll probably just sort of start in the place where where you always start. I will bring a smuggled item though. You always want to bring a, a smuggled item if you can. Uh, Boomu says, I'm told, I'm told economy class is bad enough without having to sit next to a literal hitman. Great. Um, so, we've got the logistics trailer out the 
back or the shed, which are good pickup locations. Uh, we have to figure out what we want to smuggle in. Uh, probably what we want to smuggle in. See, I don't own a silenced sniper rifle, I think. Oh, is the Jaeger silenced? Hang on. F, show details. Suppressor, quiet, reduced range. That's the end round. Piercing, marksman, variable scope, Jaeger. Yeah, okay. So I do have a silenced sniper rifle that I could use. I actually have two under the colour variant of it. I'm not generally much of one for, like, uh... I'm not generally much of one for, for sniping so much in this game. I don't find it to be A, very practical, and B, very satisfying. So what I might take with me is the lethal poison vial, because I'm pretty sure there is a poisoning opportunity for one of the targets. Uh, concealed weapon, uh, the silver baller, what are the what's the, the little target? Steady aim. L to improve your aim. Okay, or extended magazine. We'll go with the silver baller. Uh, we have a variety of suit options. It is quite classic to start as the clown, I think, wherever you possibly can. I'm gonna start in the Raven suit because I like the sound of that. Uh, coins are great gear. Fiber wire, uh, it's pretty middling. Let's grab the lockpick. That'll be helpful to us. All right, play. Oh, I do like a bit of it. Man. It's it's. I'm starting to get back into it. Only starting, but. You know, we're getting there. Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season, and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Victor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Oh, did we not get the introductory now, cuts? Event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity. I trust your timeless look shall fit <laughs> Timeless look. Yeah, so basically, uh, the premise of this mission is Iago is some sort of a group that, like, sells government secrets, basically. Uh, and... So there's an auction happening on the top floor, while at the same time there's a fashion show happening at the bottom floor. I think I can run into this guy and like. <laughs> yeah, so we can just be a, we can just be a hitman and also. Make sure we're on as much footage as possible. Uh, but yeah, there's plenty of, of grounds and outside area to explore. Sure, sure, whatever. And then back here we've got an area that I probably am not allowed into. Because they've got security guys in the door. We can go up and have a check. Excuse me, sir. I'm afraid I'll have to ask me to stop right there. Yep, that's fine. We're all really busy. Just do what you gotta do. Okay, so what are these guys doing? He is just sort of wandering off. Is he going to wander off over here? Perhaps where people might not see him. He is. How helpful. For me. My 
first disguise. I do need to drag him properly out of the way though. Okay. Drop our first save. See if this disguise will get us through that game. Okay, so, we're now through into our first back area. There's a guy over there who will enforce this, so we got to sneak around the sidelines a little bit. That's no bad thing, because there might be stuff over here, like a wrench. There's also a bin. You can only hide items in bins. If I pick this up, can I put it down? No. I have to drop it. Okay. So some disguises are allowed to carry weapons, and some aren't. This is obviously one that isn't. Novikov's in there. None of these people around here enforce this disguise, so that's fine. Uh, now I happen to know that there's quite a good opportunity around the back, but I also... I can't quite remember where it is that I put my stuff. Is it on the map, actually? Map. Uh... Agency pickup. In the shed. Right, gotcha. So we do need to, to move that way if we possibly can. There's a guy here who might be someone we can lure in. Oh, emetic poison. Excellent. Good news. So we might be able to get access to this disguise. Grab some more stuff. Um, what I don't know is, is how we'd lure him in. Because it would be a little bit tricky to... can't do any of that easily. So for now, we're not going to hassle him. Okay. I can't unlock the gate while they're looking at me. Hi there. No, and he's going to be able to see this if I try and unlock that. Can I go around? As if Okay. Ah! So this is an opportunity, this guy here. And to get that opportunity, I think we need to kind of clear out some of the people who are kind of up this way. updated. Fantastic. Uh, the famous Helmut Kruger is part of the show. He has your cheekbones, 47. According to our intel, Helmut Kruger is friendly with Donna Margolis. I suspect Yago uses fashion models to infiltrate the lives of the rich and powerful. So, now, he's going to sort of head up this way. And what we want to do is clobber him. And we can possibly come back and disguise ourselves as him. You just gotta make sure that no one's watching, of course. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, that didn't go well. Where did you come from, sir?
Right, so that was a little messy, but... We should mostly still be okay. Hopefully him yelling Kruger is down won't have unduly alerted anyone. And we can just kind of hide Kruger over here. We could push him over the thing and into the water, but that kills him, which isn't ideal. So... Uh... Oh, we do probably want to swap his clothes? Because he's going to have pretty good access, and not many people enforce him. The only problem with this disguise is I can't carry weapons openly. I've got Helmut Kruger's cell phone. I can do a call. View intel. It just tells me that. That's fine. Put that away for now. Okay, I need to get to the shed. I think it's this shed. Hi there. Mind if I go in? What's this stat here? That's a tap. Ah, okay, so this might be a thing that we can do to like electrocute people. Yeah. If you have like an electric thing and then a, 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 a tap outlet nearby, you can often. Okay, we've got some lethal poison, we've got a hammer. Is there anything else here? There's an explosive canister that we probably don't need. Crowbar, very useful. Okay. What's this? Ah, the fireworks schedule. Okay, that's a different opportunity. That's one of the ones that you want if you're going for like sniping and stuff. Now, as Kruger, can we get into the basement area? There is a basement area, and I can't remember how you get into it at all. Stairs down, there's some right here, theoretically. No? Over there, there we go. Hi there! Ah, if we sit. Uh, what the hell is a bare knuckle boxer? What? The sanguine boss, Novakov. He asked if I could make him one. Oh, that! Yeah, shit, I forgot. It's a cocktail, his favorite, apparently. Palace owner Mr. Laren left us the recipe, but I think I left it down in the basement. I was gonna copy it out and laminate it, but yeah, eh, whatever, who cares? Booze is booze, right? Nah, I should really go look for it. Man pays our wages. Serves a decent drink. Huh. According to staff, Victor Novikov's favorite drink is a rather obscure cocktail known as a bare knuckle boxer. The recipe, however, has been misplaced in the basement. Sounds like a chance opportunity to get on Novikov's good side. Fantastic. So that's why I picked up the poison, because I thought, hmm, yes, you can do this, can't you? Right, so he reckons I want a palace staff disguise for this, do I? Uh oh, wrong button. Please let me hit him. I should probably have thought about where I was going to hide him before I hit him. Luckily, there's a box here. We gotta be quick though. Boop. Okay, I don't think we're trespassing. There is a blend-in opportunity, if I want one, but I think I can just sort of wander freely, and no one down here should be able to break my disguise, I assume. We've got to look out for that recipe. There's the recipe. Right, there's gas canisters. We can read the recipe. So we now know how to make the cocktail. wander around the kitchens, which might be useful if you want to... Can I carry a cleaver? No, I can't carry a cleaver as Helmut Kruger. Nor can I carry a kitchen knife. 
nor can I carry a fire poker, it seems. I can mess with the sink. This is a staircase that leads upstairs. Uh, uh, hang on, where's the map? Right, we're now on the other side of the house. Down here, is there anything else? There's a fire extinguisher which I don't need. A fire axe which we don't need. Who <laughs> says, as a model, Hell is an entourage to carry his cleaners and crowbars. Quite, quite. Ah, and this, whoops. You got it. Okay, so I'm not allowed in there as this guy. I can't really tell. Okay, they're that stuff. Right. So if I ever get caught on camera, which I think I probably helmet will be at some point. Did he just say helmet my man? I'm not sure I am your man. I don't think we know each other, but okay. What's this? A radio. Turning on the radio is illegal, apparently. Right, so I want to get one of the, like, security adjacent stuff. If, uh. If I want to get in there and erase the, the camera footage. Which I do want to do. I've already lost where that was, though. <laughs> Hang on, I've gotten lost. It was not here. Is it here? Okay. So, there's a separate problem in that there's no sort of very good place around here to knock someone out. You just kind of have to do it in the doorway and hope no one's looking, I think, basically. Boo <laughs> says you've been a model five minutes, you're already being a demon to your fans. Well, maybe a little bit. Um, yeah, like you can't close these big doors, which is a massive shame. And there's four guys in here, although they might all be sat down. So I might be okay. If I grab, there's me coins. Or maybe he's going to come right out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That went badly. That went about as badly as it could possibly have gone. Honestly. Uh, that might have gone reload worthy badly. He got slightly too far away. Uh, and all I wanted to do was erase the security cameras. I might be well hidden while I'm in this box, but I also might not be. <laughs> Let me just check. What my uh, most recent autosave was. 1337, okay. So if I ever. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Uh oh, okay. Okay, yep. Oh my god, hi, where did you come from? Uh oh! I'm in the box, I didn't mean to be in the box. Ow, 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 ow. 
Oh my god, I can't aim with the controller. For neither love nor money. Well... This has gone badly. Oh, hi there. Hey, did you have anything to do? Please, in the basement. Someone guard the stairs. Ow. Oh my god. Where are you all coming from? <laughs> Where are you all coming from? Okay. Hi there, Shaskor. Uh, it's not going well. I won't lie to you. It's going particularly badly. All I wanted to do was erase all the cameras. And instead... Bad things happened. Okay, so... I've got a new plan, right? My new plan... ...is to calmly take down these guys. How- Really? Really? You did not let me nobble this guy? Really? <laughs> I was stood right behind him! Anyway, like I was saying, my plan is to nobble these two guys and put them in the box so that when the other guy walks out, they can't see me. Cheska says, where's my KSP2 content? It, 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 it isn't happening today. Uh... Because I was worried about overdoing the KSP, basically. Um... And I was in a real Hitman mood, because I saw some other people playing Hitman, basically. Right, where do you go? Can I let you... Into here. Are you gonna go in you're gonna go into there of your own volition, okay. No, I don't want to poison the food. I want I want the crowbar. And then I need to wait until that guy him, because this box is now full. A box can only hold two things. So I have to wait until that guy is is not there. So that I can drag this body around the corner and put it in a box. I really hope this is gonna work. Amazing. Right. Uh, Shaska says, is that why I've been having so many problems with storage? Because boxes only hold two things. Yes, exactly why. Oh, really? You're both enforcers? Well, I could lure someone out here by turning off the fuse box. But, if I'm fast... Just do that. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! Security system disabled. Fantastic. Oh my god. Uh, Shaska says, what if I have two boxes with two things each in them and put both in a third box? Ah, well, you see. You see, Shaska. You can't move the boxes. That's actually not allowed. Oops, now I want to put it away. There we go. <laughs> That's the sneaky bit. Uh, I do need a palace sta staff disguise. You are correct, game. I do have one down here. What's in here? Disguise as tech crew, in case I want that. What's this other guy's disguise? Stylist. Oh, okay. God, there's a, a bunch of good disguises down here, then. Jessica says, what about moving boxes? Uh, you can... You can push certain boxes in some games. Where the hell did I leave that disguise? Palace staff disguise. Did I put it in here? Yes, I think so. Hi there. 
Right, I can go up and tend to the bar now. Here. Just says the books are famously used when moving out. You say I can't move out. Uh, not unless you're playing the video game unpacking. Right, now we have to be a little careful because we've not been inside before. We don't know who does and doesn't see through this disguise. I'm also not super duper sure exactly which places I can go to. But it looks like not many people up here do see through this disguise. So, let's have a look around for... Oh, I'm allowed to carry a kitchen knife as a, as a member of staff, obviously. So we can grab a few of those. Uh, I'm allowed to grab the rat poison, which is fantastic. We want all of the poison. Then, we want to wander through to this area, where apparently no one sees through other guys. There's also... Push me again and see what happens. Jesus, guy! Calm it down! Uh... Hang on a sec. I'm just gonna attend the bar for a sec when I reach out. Uh, we've not been this way before. We're not house trained. We are house trained. We just haven't been in this particular house before. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up. As there's no one to be worried. This I remember stuff carrying a kitchen's worth of knives. <laughs> exactly. Luckily, all the ingredients for a bare knuckle box were right here. Right, and now poison. Right. And now I think we can basically just leave that, because no one else is going to have that, because that's how bars work. Uh, uh, if we head back downstairs, we can grab our helmet Kruger disguise. Uh, check where our... Yeah, he's doing that at the moment. Where is our helmet crew in disguise? That's security guard. Uh... One sec, I can't remember where I've left my clothes. That guy might see me. Okay, amazing. Right, we are successfully Kruger. Now, I think. Where is our target? Is he near the bar yet? Oh, he stood outside. He's over there. There he is. Gotcha. Now, I need to go and find the makeup place, I think. Oh no, I need to go and grab... Helmut Kruger cell phone. Cool! Hi there. Hello? Dahlia, Helmut here. Remind me again, where were you supposed to meet? Second floor, Voltaire Suite, next to the auction. Got it. You want me to drop by now, or...? No, no, it's essential that you walk the runway. Do the job, and come see me right away. Fantastic. So, we've got to go and walk the runway, which means... Oh, I can carry a hammer, apparently. Uh... Sorry. I need to go and get changed. I need to have my makeup done. Uh, 
He's having interesting problems. Okay, so that was him dead. Sit down, that's Helmut Kruger. Mr. Kruger, touch up. Yeah, we lost everything. <laughs> no one is going to notice that I suddenly have acquired a barcode on the back of my head. Well, as if by magic. <laughs> I love this bit. I love this opportunity so much. This is great. Um, oh dear. And no one can suspect a thing, because I was getting my makeup done at the time. All right, now we have to go walk the runway. I've gone the wrong way to walk the runway. Get out there and knock them dead. Oh yeah! I'm the most sneaky, subtle hitman who ever hit that. <laughs> oh, I love this game so much. <laughs> Shaska says, you're hitting on men seems a bit gay. Wait. All right, fantastic. We did our thing as Helmut Kruger. Now we just need to go upstairs, I think. Uh, opportunities. Okay, it's not going to tell us any more details than that, is it? Meet up with Margulis. Sure. Uh. Where do I go? I think I go up sort of this way. Just because, I mean, being an attractive envy makes everyone gay, so exactly, exactly. Mr. Hi there, gang. Don't mind me. I'm here to meet up with Margolis. Uh. Do I go up here? Ah, yes, fantastic. Mr. Kruger, sir. It's all gay if you want it to be. And I do! I want it all to be very gay. Okay. What's up with this guy? What's he. You just let me know that you're there, are you? Fine. Uh, this is an, Please come in. an extremely, like, busy and well guarded area of the map. So it's very useful to get like uh, an opportunity to get up here. There's a couple of others. There's a there's like a, a an oil baron chic type character who wanders around somewhere that you can like Mr. disguise Kruger. yourself as. Right now, I can't remember how exactly this goes, so we're gonna drop a save. Um... <laughs> Jessica says, Syndrome something incredible something. If everyone's gay, then no one is. Hi there. Hi. Yeah? Sir, kindly back off. Alright, I thought I was sort of supposed to, to t speak to you, but okay. Hey, Helmut. Hey, person who can't pronounce my name. Can we not speak? I guess not. Prince Paul, how is your father? He is the Hi. sun and the moon, Miss <laughs> He does not complain. Mm. There's an item coming up. You might find it interesting. A certain list. Courtesy of MI6. I see. 
Thank you for the information. I've been meaning to ask you, how do you do it? All this, all these secrets. Well, what I mean, trick? me being here probably gives that away. Oh, you know how it is with magic tricks, Prince Poe. The answer is always a letdown. But if you don't tell us your secret, how can we know you're not doing the same thing to us? You don't. You'll just have to ask yourself whether the benefits I provide outweigh the damage I might inflict. That's a very risky thing to say to someone, but, but go ahead, I guess. Alright, and here is the secret auction. Can we sit down here? Oh wow, Mr. Kruger! No, apparently not. They're busy selling international secrets. Help. Uh, Mr. Kruger, so, uh, let me know if you need new bodyguards. Are you going to tell okay. me about what Victor did? Uh, Victor has a lot of skeletons in his mahogany wall. Oh, spare points. That's good. But sometimes the lock won't hold. A young, ambitious FSB section chief was mounting a case against Victor for plagiarism. <laughs> Seska says you're telling me the little wrong. I, I am actually. Victor, failing for once to bribe or threaten his way out of trouble, made a deal with an assassin, someone with impossible skills. The price? A copy of the Iago dossier. Everything we have ever collected. No questions. Ah, I wonder if that's the person who's been, been like employing me. us. No, hmm. he did not. Clients in there. Are you saying they're bidding on used goods? Victor is certain this mystery man was looking oh. for something very specific. I failed. I guess I could do it while Victor was dead. Victor is a loose cannon. Hmm? And I hate to say it, but maybe. Ah, oh, okay. You're kind I didn't of mixing know this. metaphors, but the thought has crossed my mind. Dahlia, Camille is in position at the fashion show. So, who's the mark? Julian Wakefield, the actor. Camille is just his type. She's got that Ada Lockheed look. Mm. I don't know who that is, Wakefield's but I've heard the name girlfriend. before. Clever. Oh, okay, maybe I've heard the name before playing this game. <laughs> Lol. Wakefield only drinks uh. a particular brand of smoked whiskey. I made sure that all the bars are out, except for the one that Camille happens to be standing at. I sincerely hope I never get on your bad side, Dahlia. Mm. So, Wakefield is a member of that Church of Ascendance, isn't he? Is that who we're targeting? Those crypto-spiritualists? The Church of Ascendance is wealthy, powerful, and secretive to a fault. I have clients who would pay a lot of money to know what's going on inside that. Is this related to the mission? Is this related to anything else? Push him right into their inner Are you going to do anything at any point, lady? Thank you. Camille will be right there. Oh, I might actually. I realized I might have just failed it when I picked up the poison instead. Hang on a sec. Hang on. Let's let's jump back a bit and see if it was just me picking up the poison that failed the opportunity. I probably shouldn't have done that actually before she told me to. Quick, Welcome, sir. meet up with Margolis. Hi there. Hey, Mr. Kruger, take your style. Can I not speak to you at all? What's this? Oh, there's a glass of champagne. That's fine. Okay, we might have to wait in the auction for a little bit. Oh my god, Dali, hurry up! Blimey. Hello, Mr. Kruger. I suppose she's drinking away her sorrows after I killed Victor. Well, maybe she doesn't know Victor is dead. I'm not sure. Hmm. If I had a way to disguise, I could just poison that glass. But... I do not have a way to disguise, and I don't know where there's a conveniently situated waiter either. You rock, Helmut. Thank you. Am I allowed in here? No. Okay. Hello, Mr. Kruger. 
here she comes. Eventually. Do I need to call you on the phone? Is that what I need to do? Andrea Martini. No. Prince Paul. Okay. How is your father? He is the sun and the moon, Miss Markowitz. He does not complain. Mm. There's an item coming up. You might find it interesting. A certain list. Courtesy of MI6. Hmm. I see. Thank you for Mr. Kruger, Secrets. let me know if you need new bodyguards. It is a trick. Okay? <laughs> oh, Calm. You know how it is with magic tricks. Prince Kruger, the answer is always a letdown. But if you Come on, us, hurry up, how could lady. You know you're not doing the same thing to us. You don't. You'll just have to ask yourself whether the benefits I provide outweigh the damage. Oh my god. Oh, there's the, uh, there's a waiter, I think. I've just missed him. Yeah, I've just missed him. I could have got him while he was in there. In case I wanted to do that. But this the opportunity should be enough. I guess I just need to wait quite a while while this stuff happens. Helmut Kruger. Wow, you're handsome. Like a Right, hang on a sec. Let's Did you say I'm handsome like a pretty girl? I think pretty girls are pretty, not handsome. Uh Right, so, so if we uh, go in here, you're gonna tell me we just we sit down. Victor has a lot of skeletons in his mahogany. Oh my god! Closet. Hurry up, lady! And sometimes the lock <laughs> I think he's having a gay crisis. I do too. I'm sure the Helmut Kruger is helping. FSB section chief was mounting a case against Victor for past crimes. He got close, too close. So Victor, failing for once to bribe or threaten his way out of trouble made a deal with an assassin. Someone with impossible skills. The price? A copy oh God, of the Iago dossier. Everything we have ever collected. No questions asked. And did Victor bother to tell me about it? No, he did not. The client's in there. Are you saying they're bidding on used goods? Victor is certain this mystery man was looking for something very specific. He won't be right if we get to right. Still, it's the principle. Darling, Victor is a loose cannon. Victor is a dead loose cannon. <laughs> I hate to say it, but maybe. Maybe he needs to be put down. You're kind of mixing metaphors, but the thought has crossed my mind. Dahlia, Camille is in position. Oh, I think this is the grand finale going on outside. Who's the mark? Julian Wakefield, the actor. Hi. Hmm. Wakefield's old girlfriend. Clever. There he is, yeah. So. Thank you. Oh. Wakefield you are too. Oh. Really too oh my god, we can't have two conversations sure going on at once. That's too much of a disaster. So, in, in the. Uh, in the. In this mission, if you don't kill Victor another way, like using, for example, the drink, then he will go up on stage instead of that guy. That guy's like the artist. Victor is, I think, like the host here. Uh, but when he goes out onto the dance floor, one of the things you can do really is you can drop now. this enormous lighting ring just down on his head. Uh, and it's it's an accident kill, so no one suspects anything, but it does kill quite a lot of other people at the same time. Wakefield's fame will push him right into their inner circle. And if everything goes according to plan, Camille will be right there with him. Good plan. I'll keep you updated. Okie doke. Can I, uh, can I meeting with you now? Maybe? No? You're just not interested? Did I fail that opportunity when I wasn't paying attention? Okay, window of opportunity has passed, has it? Well, that's annoying. Okay. She will go back into that room every so often, I think. I don't know why that opportunity fails. Mr. Kruger, let me know if you need new bodyguards. Okay. Calm. 
Haley, where are those surveillance photos of Prime Minister Ingram at you know where that I asked you to get an hour Helmet ago? Helmut Kruger. They just went for wow, eight Wow, you're handsome. Um, yeah, like right away, Dahlia. Pretty Continue girl. to impress, Haley. Oh boy. So I think this is her security guy who'll like go with her everywhere she goes. So I think we just basically have to wait for them to like loop back around. The other thing we can do Next on the list. is drop the chandelier on. Have a great time here. A suspicious suicide in the pharmaceutical industry of But Western that's a little Europe. bit trickier. Hello, Mr. Kruger. Nope, that's this is not a way around like I thought it was. Oh. Okay, so we might actually want to nubble this guy then. The waiter who comes in here. It won't be desperately easy, because like yeah, you can drag him to this closet. But there's people outside the window, they'll see. And you can't pull the curtains. So it's quite awkward. And you know, all of this is big windows as well. If you can get him all the way over there, then you might be able to knock him down in a, in a hidey hole. But other than that, you just have to sort of leave him in this room and pray. Hmm. I might see if I can go into... Nope, not that way. See if I can go into my goddess's room into the bathroom. Lure people in from there. Uh possibly with a coin. Oh, this guy's come back in. Something's amiss here. We're one guard short. Uh, oh, I need me thing. Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. There we go. Okay, well, that wasn't the sneakiest I've ever been. But, we did it. I don't know how I, I can't remember quite how I failed the opportunity. It might have just been by killing Victor too early. Um, still, from here, we can head down to whatever exit we want, which will be whatever exit is closest. Looking awesome, Mr. Kruger. Down we go. I think these waiters are the same waiters as upstairs. You can also like grab one of these guys. I think there's a guy in here. This guy you can sort of whack if you want to. Oh, can I pick up this? No, that's a kitchen knife. Never mind. Oh, there's also an invisible... Oh no, it's a stain. Yeah, I can clean the stain. There we go. Yes! Success! Uh, at least for now. Let's not Count our chickens before they've clucked, so to speak. But I think we should be able to just run over to the helicopter and fly away in utmost style. I don't know why the helicopter is kept, like, powered up. But yeah, off we go. No one seems to mind that I'm flying a helicopter on my own. <laughs> Or that I take it off like that and just like dive straight towards the famous historical building in front of me. <laughs> no one minds either of those things. Oh, exit cutscene, fantastic. And here they are. Here's How sneaky is guys. Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work 
Everything was oh, this is the this is Novikov and the the guy makes setting up. Look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. <laughs> Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. There we go. So yeah, that was the meeting that uh, Dahlia Margolis was describing. Good luck with the show. Earlier. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. <laughs> Boomer says, Bish, that's just history is written by the victors we faced. It is, isn't it? There we go, completed some challenges. What was Piano Man? Uh, what did we get? We didn't get No Bodies Found, because we killed him in broad daylight. But other than that, we did alright. Uh oh, I pushed the wrong button. I think we're now replaying. <laughs> oh, please tell me no. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event. Can you please have a main menu button on your pause menu? Oh my god. Dahlia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, yeah. event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. How, right, how do I leave? E exit to menu, there we go. Why couldn't you have given me that before? <laughs> Oinski, Boinski. Okay, uh, let's drop back to the campaign. Mission number two, World of Tomorrow, Sapienza. This is one of the like best maps in Hitman, I think, according to most people. I've obviously not played enough Hitman to know one way or the other. Uh, right, we've got a concealed weapon. We're bringing the silver baller. We're bringing a lockpick. Now, smuggle items. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring a sniper rifle. A silent sniper rifle. Why? How is this one different? This one has extended magazine. This one has quick aim. I don't need quick aim. I'm gonna bring that along because there are some cool things you can do in this location that I really want to do, and I some of them I've never done before. So we're gonna do this. Uh, starting location. Let's start undercover security because having a security uniform would be really helpful to us. Okay. This is not the uh, the standard start. Uh, and I don't think we're going to get an intro cutscene today either, but I will, once we've had a little chat from Diana, I'll tell you like the gist of who these people are and why we have to kill them. That is Francesca DeSantis. Oh wow, we start in front of a target. Ah, that's pretty crazy. A scared, angry little boy. The power of God at his fingertips. Yeah, so uh, 
this lassie and our other target are working on like a virus and the idea is that the virus is like a programmable virus I, I don't think the science behind it is super important necessarily but the idea is you can use it to kill like certain individuals or small groups of people and it's spread you know just through like the general populace so nobody else knows that they've got this virus until one day that person just like drops dead It's a, it's a terrifying concept. You can see why we're shutting it down. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I can't go anywhere until that guy leaves, because he's an enforcer. Uh, the other guy, not her, the other guy who she's working with also has, like, uh... History? He's he's a bit he's he's a weird. Okay, right, where are you gonna go, sir? You're gonna go in, are you? That's fine by me. Have to watch out for whoever that is. Now out here we actually straight away have an opportunity to kill her. Because she goes and takes a phone call semi regularly. And we can Mess with the power. And if we have a screwdriver, we can mess with the wiring. And then turn the hose on. Uh, but we don't, to my knowledge, currently have a screwdriver. There is a little upstairs area here. We can go investigate. Oh, these guys will... these guys are enforcers, are they? That's not the best news I've had all day. This is impossible. Just look for a combination. Caruso's absent minded. Likes to write things down. Yeah, but you wouldn't just leave it lying around for the cleaning staff to find. There could be jewelry and stuff inside. The staff wouldn't even know about the safe. They never come up here. That being said, if I was the doc. Keep the code downstairs in my office, bedroom. On his phone? Yeah, well, DeSantis says try, okay? So, just try. Huh. I thought it was a good idea, too. All right. Where haven't we looked? So. The Ether Corporation clearly doesn't trust Caruso and have ordered their proxy, DeSantis, to spy on him. Paranoid or not, the content of Caruso's safe is sure to be useful. Yes, so that's uh, a thing that we can do. There's an opportunity. We do need to watch out for these guys. I think they're planning to just leave, leave, but they might stay around in the attic. I can't quite remember. Okay, he's gone outside down the stairs. He's followed. Fantastic. So. Uh, we can have a look around here. We need to find a safe combination if we want to do that. I can't quite remember what's actually in the safe. Oh my god. We can also pick up a katana if we want to. What else have we got? Oh, there's an interesting one here where you can drop this like down there and explode it somehow. I can't quite remember what you've got to do. To make that work, but you can. We can grab a toy tank. Uh, is there anything else up here? There's another chimney that you can blow up. That's a hiding spot. Oh, a throwable? No, that's a propane flask. Uh, expired can of spaghetti sauce. That's a one use throwable. And we could also grab the shovel instead of the katana if we wanted, but why would we do that? At some point we'll have to swap it for the katana, but like... Is there someone down here who's a horse up? Hang on a sec. Can I pull the ladder down? No, okay. Right, 
There's someone out there who's an enforcer. This area is his bedroom. Uh, I do need to drop the katana because I can't carry a katana around on my back. Unfortunately. Oh, as a housekeeper, I'm not actually allowed to be in here. Okay. Well, I'll go get the security back then. And the katana, hang on. I do actually want the coins though. Oh, the security's not allowed to be in here either. Interesting. All right. So what I want to do, oh, I can turn on the sound system. That will lure him in. I think I can't remember where the sound system lures him to though. Biolab key cards. That's going to be really helpful later. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. Where is the sound system? Seeing my own reflection, the TV really messed me up. Okay, I might be able to turn on the TV. Yeah, okay. Uh oh, run, 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 run! Keeping it in check. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the nose. Subdue, 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 subdue. Fantastic. Turn off the TV so no one else comes. Fantastic. I do need to find somewhere to hide him. Would be ideal. I guess we're sort of just gonna drop him in here. Ah, oh, no, there's a chest. Right, so. Somewhere around nearby ish. Golf club, that's hilarious. Somewhere around nearby ish should be the code that they were talking about, right? Uh... Hmm. In here? No. I'm still trespassing out on this balcony. Oh, this guy's very protective of his stuff. Can I climb through and then I'm no longer trespassing? Fantastic. What have we got? Safe combination! Amazing! Okay, well that's not too difficult. Ah, and then there's some funky stuff you can do up on the roof here as well. Possibly with this? There's a specific thing I want to do with this tower that I can't quite remember the sequence of events for. I'm sure it will make itself obvious. There's lots of propane flasks. You can drop it down this chimney as well to blow up that. Uh, so that there's the. Is Silvio Caruso. Where? Oh, there he is. Okay, so he enforces this disguise as to both of his bodyguards, which isn't great news. Sadly. Oh, hang on, I'm not using the katana. Can I just throw the katana at him from up here? No. Okay, so this is the point where you can, if you want, just lob this down the chimney.
arrived at the location and it was clean. Ah, now she is in here, almost alone, which is interesting, although there's a lot of enforcers nearby. I like how I was just wielding that katana and the guy did not care at all. Uh, what I really want... I guess we can use the toy tank as a one-time non-lethal throw. Boom Boom says, I do love a good boom. Which is surprising considering your name. Uh, it's not. Okay. Let's see what you're up to, Sylvia. Okay, is he is he leaving? What's this? DNA samples. If I get this. No, I did not mean to do that. What the it's Command, fine. Out of a situation. I'll check the perimeter. Over. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, any It's fine. Okay, so we didn't do any of the clever opportunities. But that's okay. We also didn't manage to murder her with the katana. I mean, maybe I still could? No. Okay, well... <laughs> it's not pretty, but we got the mission done. I can also dump her out the window, which is hilarious. Right. Now, what I need to do is get out of here. Uh, okay. Down here. Tower. So the thing you can do with the tower, I've obviously failed to do. I might come back and try it again next stream to see if I can do that. For now though, doesn't seem to be any enforcers around. So I think I can just wander down here. Out into this place that has no light whatsoever. Oh, okay, there's a guy outside the door who's an enforcer. That guy who I didn't even notice who just snuck up right behind me. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, I didn't pick up my toy tank. What a disaster. Oh, he's dealing with the bodies. Yes, of course he is. That's fine, because this guy has just told me that I can go out this way. There's no one in here who enforces this. Someone's just found a body. I've been recorded by a security camera. Which is also bad news because I can't quite remember where the security footage thing is. Rat poison will not help me. Kitchen knife. Oops, I dropped it instead of... Yep. Hmm. Does it show on the map where the uh, where the security camera is?
No, it does not. That's a real shame. I also remember that actually I can go to where I want to go next from that place I was just in. So I didn't even need to come out here and be recorded by a security camera. Thus making me... Oh no, I need to go back. I need to go and grab my, uh, my sniper rifle, don't I? So... Ugh. Let's just see if we can run out the front door. There was a dead rat on the uh, I've been recorded again. Where the hell is the, uh... The security camera sort of area. I really is can't remember. I'm sorry, I'll let you do your job. Respect that. Uh, yeah, quite a few bad things are happening, but don't worry about that. This is not where I came from. This is also not where I came from. That's fine. Okay, we've got a side door here. We've got the key card. Right. I got you this job. So just do as I say, or Chef Marcel will be angry at both of us. Please. And this is Rocco. He's supposed to be like your your tutorial way in, basically. Uh He will. Oh, we've got Intel that we can view. There we go. The new kitchen hand. Villa Crusoe Chef's hired a new kitchen hand. Can pick his luck. Genius! I told myself I wasn't going to be in touch anymore. Good for nothing, should I be through We've got to wait for him to come in. Because uh, if we try and nobble him out on the balcony, that won't work. We don't actually have to nobble him at all. I came into this house for a totally different reason. We don't have to wreck this guy's day. Let's leave this guy alone. Uh, what I actually came in for is because this is where the safe house is. I think. Yes, here we go. I don't know why I had to unlock my own safe house door. But hey, so now we've got a sniper rifle. We're allowed to carry a sniper rifle because we're a security heavy. Uh, and Italian law be damned, basically. Uh, from here... Uh, grab a kitchen knife as well, that's lovely. I keep dropping things, that's fine. We can pick up the explosive golf ball, which is also great fun. And just head back down outside. And then we should be able to just go back in through the same side door that we came out from. Beep. Swipe in. Run on through this way. Command is dropping the ball like you wouldn't believe. Where the hell are those cameras? Hmm. Right, once we're inside, we can go downstairs. There will be different security guys down here. This was just, the outfit was just so that I could, like, uh, get the sniper rifle and not have to faff. Okay, are we not trespassing? That's nice. So, what they're working on... Okay, here's a hostile area. There we go. Eat this field blue. You need it. The virus prototype will be... So... Look for some type of quarantine unit. 
what we gotta do is sneak up on this guy. Boop. Drag him around. Uh, dump him in there. Fantastic. Disguise the security. Uh, we can grab his gun, I suppose. We can grab the card, I suppose. And now, this is a thing I've never done before, is... In there, somewhere, is the vial. That is the virus that they're working on. And apparently, you can snipe it out from like any distance. Apparently. Though it might be easier if I can get up there. I don't know if up there is a way you can go. Oh. Entering the ether lab requires a key card and a uniform. Yeah no I've got that bit covered. It seems both are within reach. Oh I have a coin though, thanks. I don't want to go down. Uh hang on. Where's me map? Map. Hmm. Doesn't help that I don't really know what I'm looking for. Uh, I need the uh, sniper. I also don't have a very good zoom on this sniper, as it turns out. The only thing is somewhere in there. But like I'm damned if I can figure out where in there. Can I go over here? Up. No, this takes me outside. I don't want to go outside. And then that takes me down. Also, isn't terribly helpful. Hmm. I've seen this done before. I've got no idea how. Who down there is an enforcer for this disguise? Not many people, it seems. So I might be able to go down just to, like, get my bearings. Oh, okay. Haha! <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. We gotta find a different way. I could theoretically go down this drain pipe. Boop. Alright. Now we're fairly safe here. Apart from we've still got these bloody cameras everywhere. Which I will have to deal with. Yep, there we go. Oh, is it in here? Oh, fantastic. Pick up a soda can. Destroy evidence of the cameras. There we go. That was easy. Now. Okay, there's and there's a couple of enforcers over there. Make my life tricky. I can sneak around this ledge. Do I have a better view from here? Right, it's this central column I need to look for. 
And then it's somewhere at the bottom of that. Let's drop a save, because it turns out I've not dropped a manual save or mission, which is bad. Right, there's another enforcer over here. Ah, uh, okay, right, I'm gonna have to be a bit further away. I want to shoot the thing. So I need to be higher up to actually see it. So I guess it's back up the ledge. See if we can use that newfound information. Better figure out what I'm looking at. Oh, I really need a better zoom, my god. Okay, it's there. Hang on. Oh, I'm trying to aim with the controller. Can I use my mouse? I can use my mouse. Fantastic. That did not work. At all. Okay, somewhere there are guards looking. I do not know who and I do not know where, but they are. There! Okay, I did it. Can I put it away, please? All objectives complete. Now head towards an exit. Okay, we gotta go out, we gotta go out, there's a lot of things going off, it's fine, because I know where I'm going. Oh yeah, we always gotta exit in style, remember? Oh ho ho, boy! Okay, we did it gang, we did it. Woo! <laughs> that was tough, that was well tough. Um. And we're gonna get a cutscene. Eat the security's in the dark about the incident. A few of the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I love the trope of someone just you from Italy. sneakily in the car. It's I guess great. when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. I see how you did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you're mine. How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. Ooh, Providence. Take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. Then we're even. Yeah, so that's the guy who's who's pulling the strings behind the whole game. Uh, he's not a very nice guy, but the people he's taking down are even less nice guys. So, uh, that is, I think, all we've got time for today. I definitely don't think I can do a mission in 15 minutes. That would be... <laughs> that's literally the only achievement we got for this run. <laughs> Amazing. If I hadn't finished them all already, non-target kill penalty, oof. 
Uh, yeah. So that is where we're going to leave off for today. Uh, I want to say a big thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, thanks to Boom Boom, Chesco, and Fion for showing up in the chat. It's always lovely to have people uh, around. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with some Pokemon Y. And then KSP, the promised KSP, will be happening on Saturday. Uh, and then might be a Saturday, Thursday sort of alternating slot. We'll find out. Uh, but yes, will definitely be happening. Uh, until then, you can find me on Twitter at this for demise. You can head to my YouTube channel, which should be down in the description. Uh, if you want to see all of my previous vods where I play other stealthy type games like Sniper Elite, where I actually do do sniping and do it well, <laughs> unlike in this game, uh, or you know any of the other things that I've played. Uh, but until then, thank you all so much for watching. My name has been Dizzy, and I will see you all next time. Ta-ra! Bye!